This one had HP in it. That help? <laughs> HP for me! Someone was dead. Oh, hello. That looks like a stash. Smash the stash. Hours for someone to dig it up and fix it with booby traps. Now hand it over. I, I thought he was like going to say in case there was boobies in it. Damn it. <laughs> Hunter, you led that Hyperion jackass here. You managed yeah. to put down you your did. guns and move back from the stash. Don't now. remember this dude. Better idea, jackass. Just kill him. We all draw when the church bell rings for the third time. A truck's can stand off. Fine. You kill one, I kill the other. Alright, I suppose I'll kill Gettle. When he goes red, I'll shoot him in the head. Yeah. He ran away. Alright, I'll use this weapon. I'll use this one. That calms you down some. That was easy. I should have phase locked him just for the heck of it. Now I've got a slaggy sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> You got a snipey wife? <laughs> snipey wife? Duty Your machine grass. gun. Hope you make better use of <coughs> this. Nope. What this? Nope. Nope. Where are the people for whom these are good? Hey, this is more accurate. No, less accurate, more damage, better fire rate. Ah, uh, switchy switch. Let's have a look at this. Switchy who, switch. Who designs these dopes? <laughs> Some idiot named Jacob. Jacob. Hey, look, money. Hey, look, These way cars live. These are very shallow graves. Here's where the cars live. Get you one. Yeah. Right, what are we doing now? Gone back to the main. Uh, I have no idea. Gone back to the main quest again. How's Mordecai helping out? Cheers, Mordy. Uh, Mordecai's okay. We could do. Ding 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 ding. Bandit miners. Oh, we could do that one. Sure. Thirteen. Jubilee gets better as Sometimes I find I've done a level zero quest and it was not even the start of the quest chain. And you go, oh. <laughs> Spend my time on just that. No XP, bad stuff at the end of it. Eh, it's completionist. Yeah. I, I ain't that it's kind of guy. What we are. Especially since, you know, we've only got until maybe next summer before we can actually afford Borderlands 3. It's not that I... The problem now that I have, not that I couldn't afford it. If I waited a while, I could probably get it. I just can't justify spending 75 pounds on a bloody computer game. Which is not even on Steam. I mean... It's not even on Steam? Steam. It's got an epic game store bloody... The exclusivity deal. Which one? Borderlands 3. Oh, well then, we're going to let's just, just fuck it. Exactly. Just, I'm not paying shit to uh, Epic. Well, you you can buy it straight from 2K. I discovered. You don't oh. have to... Um, you don't have to get it on the Epic Game Store. Well, at least that's livable. But then you still have to give them 75 quid for it, don't you? No game can be that good. <laughs> right? No. This is I played did you play Elite Dangerous? I played it for a while. No. I bought the base game, but this could be good because I played Elite when I was a kid, the literally original thing, with like Dodecahedron space station and you crashed into it every single time and it was horrible. But Elite Dangerous it looks really good and it could be fun. It was kinda of fun just flying around space exploring a, a generated galaxy that just exists. Like, they generated a galaxy but didn't know what was in it, so you are literally exploring the space for the first time. And then they just kept releasing expansions which were not free. I'm like, but there's so much more that could have been in this game, but it's really not worth spending that much money on. But yeah. <laughs> I just don't play it anymore. I have a joystick for it and everything. No, I mean, I think Elite Dangerous is a, it's a nice game to watch on stream if the streamer is good um yeah I often not watch if Psyche they're good play. at the game or anything but i mean like psyche when she plays it i but really enjoy it because she's just chatting well, she's cool she. to hang out with in stream yeah and i mean she is a good chatting streamer she can talk about a bunch of different stuff 
Um, I'm sort of attempting to do the same, but I don't think I've actually managed to do it. Yeah, well, that would be my style too if I ever had the time to stream. And that's the other thing. If I was regularly streaming, like two of you, I would probably put down 75 quid for something big like Borderlands 3, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I don't have an audience to speak of. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, if if I did have a massive audience that really wanted me to play a certain game, then yeah, sure. But that would be if I actually managed to get um, at the amount that I need to be able to actually live half off of streaming. Yeah. But like it is now, I've got five subs at the moment. <laughs> I mean... Uh, um, the only reason I have five subs is because uh, Zangiri um, gifted him yeah. one, <laughs> uh, and he's he's subbed. He does the six month subbing. Um, you sub with your Twitch thingy, and uh, uh, Gerard decided he wanted to use his uh, Twitch Prime thingy because he has been watching me since forever, and he figured, you know what, it's time I sub. And then, who am I else? There is a fifth one. I just can't remember. Isn't that it the is. new person that Zangiri gifted Jesse? Is he listed? Yeah, oh, that was four. You. Yeah. It's you, and then it's Zang, and it's Gerardo, uh, and then Gerard. the new guy. And then the new guy, and then I know there's a fifth one. Some it might be Miss Minnie. Because I know really? there has been a fifth one. Yeah, Miss Minnie has been um, uh, subbing me on and off for I a heard while. from Miss Minnie Page. She's a she's busy with her baby. Yeah. Oh, I did know that actually. Yeah, I'd love to do this more often. Even just she's being got able a to mini do mini. it. Even just being it's able Miss to Minnie, do it. Miss Minnie, Mr. Like Minnie, and now Mini Minnie. Mini Minnie. <laughs> Is it a Miss Minnie Minnie? Mr. Yeah, it's it's a girl. Mine. Good. Um, I would probably do it during the day like you do, if I could have a day when I didn't need to do anything else. But yeah. when? <laughs> How do I have those days? If I take a day off, I spend it doing like Other stuff. just keeping the house back together, putting the house back together. Yeah, I mean that's the thing though because since i am essentially incapable of keeping the house together all the time because of you know body and fiber and shine um i've just figured why not just do something that i really enjoy yeah apparently that guy smells delicious See, Jenny is also not capable of keeping the house in order for the same basic reasons, but she, all her things that she does are like, she, she works, and she works for herself, and with kids, and clients, so whenever she can't do anything, she just spends it all preparing for the next time she has to go and see somebody. Yeah. She's always making um, worksheets and stuff for her tutees, and if she's not doing that, she's doing the house finances because she's always refactoring that as well to try and figure out where more money can come from and of course that actually really does help because it means that in theory i could start taking a day off a week and we could start paying someone to come in and help us with the house I eat a yeah that would be nice i mean i would never be able to do that because it's really expensive yeah it is um because i mean um cleaners in norway has really really good uh, tariffs well, they unless you get, <laughs> it's a, unless you literally get, a dirty um, job. yeah, it, unless unless you actually get um, unsolicited work, which is paid under the table essentially, okay. but that is illegal. So I wouldn't do that either because then you never know what you get, and then if you then get a person that would walk around and try and steal stuff. Yeah. Also, I wouldn't go. I want to go the immoral, immoral way, really. Uh, I want yeah, to pay somebody to do the job that they, they yeah. are charging me to do, and I want them to do a good job. So I'd rather just afford a good person. Yeah, exactly. We wouldn't have to be very often either. But the trouble is no, being. No, I mean, every other week, I would guess, would be. Being shot at somewhere else. I mean, not for like, us, at least. But... 
Yeah. And also, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get them via the. Um, Oops. I wouldn't be able to get them via the disability funds either because um, Tuck has. He's able. Oh, he's uh, yeah, he's able, and then it's not. <laughs> But he has a full-time job. Yeah, well, that's the other no, problem. Yeah. Like, I can't... If I didn't have a full-time job, I could probably keep this house in order. When I get home from work, the last thing I want to do is a different type yeah, of work. Yeah, exactly. And also, Most like I want to do is sleep. every usual guy out there, he's not particularly good at housework. No, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but I, I can... I can tie... I can't tidy up, but I can clean. Right, so if I know where things should be going... I'll put them there, but I, I have a terrible memory. I mean, it's horrible. I went. I needed ID yesterday because um, my brother took us to an open day at his work. Mm. And I needed photo ID, and he told me on Wednesday he remembered to bring photo ID. I was like, no, no problem. And, and then yesterday morning, it. I just completely forgot to even check that I brought everything I needed to. Um, luckily, that, to me, that sounds weird though because we have photo IDs in our pocket, in our pocketbooks. In your what? In our wallets. Yeah. In the wallet. Well, because I have several wallets. I don't like sitting down with. Um, I don't like sitting down with stuff in my pocket. Oh my god, I got flung up. How do I get up to where you are? <laughs> uh, you have to keep going that way and off there. Up the, up the thing. You have to go on this thing. Go, well, just run upwards. It's flung me off last time. It's rubbed. Oh no, you're not supposed to jump up there. You need to go oh. this way. Oh, over there. Yeah, you need to go the long what way, thing? like from here. Across all the roofs. No, back on the other side. I, I can't see where you're going. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I see. See where I'm shooting. That was hidden from my perspective for the longest time. Yeah. Go away, Goliath. You can run around for a while. A whole XP, wow. Oh yeah, that's really oh. obvious actually. Watch it, now I go on the conveyor belt? Yeah, and then you run. Now I can run. That didn't hurt at all. <laughs> what is this? Um, and then I'll... Yeah, yeah I, I do have genuine... There's something wrong with my memory, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. The only thing is I have ADD, which my mum would corroborate from all the stories she's been telling me, uh, telling her about my childhood. I don't remember any of these stories because of said memory. Um, yeah. But <laughs> I, yeah, but I mean, it could it could make sense. It, I mean, it, if you have the ADD without the hyperactivity, because you're not hyperactive at all. No, I'm too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Got lazy ADD. Can we go in that big hole? No. There's a huge mine and I can't go in it. Right, where are we going? Yeah. Turn it. Oh, okay. Back off. Oi. Um, what are we talking about? Um, memory, essentially. Yeah, I can't remember what got me onto that. I like that. Uh, the, 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 um, ID. You were supposed to bring some ID. Yeah, why was I saying that? <laughs> but why didn't, you, why didn't you just bring your wallet? The, that's the two yeah, things so I always bring with me is the wallet. It needs to be in the back pocket. I have I my money wallet, it, but not my ID wallet. And of course... Why do, you have to, why do you have two different wallets? Because I have small wallets, so that I don't have to work. I have... I mean, I, I really don't like sitting down with it in my pocket. So I... No, but I mean, I have, I have this tiny, tiny little flap thing which is essentially just a card holder yeah and it can hold some bills as well i have that it's got but that's all it's cards got and it. it's really 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 thin it's it's about i mean it might be as thick as my finger maybe and i don't have particularly thick fingers um it's yeah. to be fair it's my phone in my case is thicker than my wallet is so i've realized that there's cards in my wallet that i never use so I might yeah, as well swap them all out and have one thing that is correct. But I didn't realise that until I started figuring out how to solve the problem that I've only just had for the first time. Because it was never been a problem before. Um, in fact, thanks to the fact that so much is online, I actually had a copy of all my photo ID on my phone anyway. Oh. 
I'd already taken pictures of it all, so I could send that it off to the bank. Yeah, that doesn't work as an ID in... Well, it happened to in this situation. <laughs> but it was hitting, it was, you know, touch and go. Yeah, I, I mean... We are going in. Is it turning at uh, it Tiny Tina? looks like Tina. Tiny Tina. Someone left. <laughs> anyway, the point is, I can't be trusted. <laughs> I'm not an adult yet. Yo, 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 Thank yo, you for yo, the four pups. Yes, I want to have a train full of money. I grab him. Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. <laughs> keeping a lot of spare weapons just because of situational requirements. <laughs> no, sir. I need your business. Don't it's worry, no I'm not going to die. Them. Well, I'm keeping the um, corrosive sniper rifle. The next time we inevitably fight robots. To be fair, it's better to just have a corrosive pistol. I haven't found one. <laughs> oh, okay. But a corrosive SMG which dissipates. And the corrosive assault rifle which takes forever to reload. But nothing suitable for... Oh, it's long distance. Where's necklace? Nixa is uncle or dad's birthday or something. Oh. Everyone's having birthdays. Oh, that's you. Why am I trying to hurt you? Birthdays. My birthday's in May. Yeah, mine's in December. Out of the way. In the middle of everything. Yeah. So you're getting Christmas presents and birthday presents. Or isn't it that close? It is that close. Oh. I tend to get combined presents, but they tend to be twice as good and therefore worth it. Wow, I think I just telefried that guy. I think you did. Nice. Where are we going? Uh, a, 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 a assault rifles. Put that there. Hello, this man. <laughs> Hello, this man. He was just there hanging out. Did you put it on the thing? Yes, he did. Good. That'll leave the train nowhere to go. Now all you gotta do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some iridium. Signal. Just sell some iridium. Apparently all I'm doing with it is making myself Trade upgrades. <laughs> Payroll train dispatched. I like this track. Oh, itchy. I something has been eating me when I've been sleeping. I think there is oh. a mosquito or two in my room. Last night we had a mosquito concern because we could hear something. Oh, oh my god! High pitched whine, and I was just falling asleep. I went, "What is that? What is that noise?" And James was like, "What noise?" <laughs> I, I ruined it by uh, pointing it out to her. Would have been fine otherwise. Uh, I'm reasonably convinced that it was attached to uh, attached. That's because you were attaching no. I'm yeah. reasonably convinced that it was stuck in the wall, or under the skirting what? board. The mosquito. I, yeah, because I'm sure that it was coming from underneath the bed. Uh, and not really moving. Of course, they keep going quiet. Why do they keep going quiet when you're trying to find them? And, uh, eradicate. Do they not know how the how the trade how goes between? They are. You know, there's a there's a contract of employment between mosquitoes and humans. They can do that as much as they want. And uh, we will hunt them down and spray them with whatever. Yeah, various agents of mosquito go away. And it just wouldn't present itself. I was very upset. Oh, the <laughs> bunting made me think that it was a mosquito, like a giant one. You often remember your dreams. Some people don't. Yes. I have the Quite weirdest often. dreams, and it's really common how my dream is relevant to the thing that happened that day. But also, 
My dreams are never time. It's got nothing to yeah. happen one day. Like, the other day when I had a World of Warcraft dream, it was actually a couple of days after I'd first looked into like the, the playing the classic thing. Because I was hoping that they had a classic account. And you could just have an account where you could only play classic mode. I'd be fine with that. No, yeah, I mean, just, if you have, if an, you have account an account for you can the play retail, that. you can yeah. play... I don't ever uh, want to play retail. I couldn't, couldn't care less. And people have been saying to me, you know, obviously it's just a, a draw to get people in. Yeah. I don't care, right? <laughs> I paid a tenner a month to have the original classic account. I don't see it's devalued that much. That is more valuable now because it's not got any other crap in it that I don't want to play anymore. Anyway. Yeah. A couple of days later, I had the dream where um, it was like a virtual reality World of Warcraft. Sort of... I was talking to a Blizzard employee. Like Ready Player One meets whatever else it was. Yeah, maybe. Have you have you watched the film Ready Player no, One? No, and I'm sure that I've read the book, but I don't remember how it goes. No, it's essentially just a virtual... Everybody lives... Mostly lives in the virtual reality. They live in, in containers, essentially. <laughs> and then they go into this virtual reality thing. Oh, I've not read it. And do stuff. Um, but it, it's... It, essentially, it, um, Ready Player One meets World of Warcraft. Kind of, because the Blizzard employee who I was in contact with to recover because you can recover your previous account if yeah. you stop playing back in the day which yeah. I did um, and even I remember when I stopped playing I was thinking it was really hard to cut ties because I put all that work in I was going to lose these characters yeah. um, and people even said then they're not actually going to delete it you know they'll just deactivate it I thought well I'm a little bit worried you know, I don't want it to of course, after a time, I just forgot completely. Now I don't care. But, um, yeah, I mean, the... I, I just stopped subscribing. Yeah. I cancelled my subscription, and it does say that there's no guarantee that your account will... that you you can recover it. You know, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to recover the, the place you got to. You might lose everything if you do that. And I think it's just a scare tactic. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a... No, if, that's if you actually... Uh, I mean, if you actually manually deactivate the account I think but if you just stop subscribing it's still there you just can't play because you have to have an active subscription to be able to play I'm reasonably sure I just cancelled my subscription honestly yeah. I don't know <laughs> um, but but if you have actually attempted to delete the account that's when they say it's not possible it's not necessarily well, yeah. possible to get everything back that if you delete an account you can't have it back is, is, that's what delete means. Um, but the, yeah, but was... that's, that's when they say that if if you do choose to delete it, then if you want to recover it later, we can try. But it's not it's not completely one hundred percent sure that we will be able to uh, recover everything. Essentially, that's what that's what they say when you when you try to delete it. It's definitely relevant to the dream because the Blizzard employee. It was like marketing team in virtual reality Azeroth. Yeah. Uh, and so I was walking around and sort of sampling and, and talking. It was like being sold a car. Mm. Um, but in VR, in Azeroth. And they they said, uh, I told them like I previously had an account, so let's try and recover it. And they said they couldn't. So then uh, you, you when... <laughs> In real life, when you're trying to be sold something, they say, well, we can't do that. Or, like, they're trying to get you in. Like, if you're moving ISP or something, you push yeah. for, you know, discounts, etc. So, obviously, I had the upper hand because they had, I had money and they wanted me to subscribe. So, I'm going, well, how about this, this, and this? And I started bargaining uh, to try and get a better deal on my subscription. <laughs> and, um, this sounds like a fucking weird dream. It was a weird dream because it wasn't just this one employee in the VR. There were, um, there were like mechanics, not me like sysadmins and stuff like that, all going on about how good it was to work on the game. And they were, they were showing that how, obviously this isn't true in real life, but in, in the dream, the, the, the game was put together piecemeal. Whenever somebody had an idea for an area or just a building or something like that, they just put it in the game. <laughs> and it would just build up over time. So the whole experience for everybody would, would evolve 
Oh, that's really cool. So I got to talk to some of the people who were doing that sort of thing. And I got to talk... I was just exploring, essentially, this virtual reality Blizzard office full of people who had been <laughs> putting their heart and souls into this game. And eventually... And then Jen joined as well at the same time. Oh, goodness yeah. me. If I put Jen in World of Warcraft, she's never going to do any work. She'd, she'd get as absorbed as I did, but, like, immediately. Dangerous. The, the level of obsession she can have because of autism. So... <laughs> that's not gonna happen um yeah. and then at the end of the dream we just I, the character creation was part of this virtual reality world so once they'd sold me on what i was gonna do i just stayed there they didn't even have to log off and actually play the game the whole thing was it was amazing i was like well now i'm disappointed because i woke up and that wasn't true <laughs> world of warcraft <laughs> is not that good so well well, it was also really sad because I, it sort of rekindled the dilemma in my head about whether to actually play it or not. Because as I say, I'd only bloody put, I'm not going to play it on my own. You know, I do spend three hours playing Minecraft, you know, yeah. offline to, to get bits done and then do another half an hour of recording episode. I'm going to spend three hours doing something. They might as well. Be. <laughs> I'm not even doing that right now. Oh, and I oh. forgot to release my episode oh. of Dead Cell. And if you find any porno mags, I'm just saying if you come across them in a natural lack sense, just snag those for me too, okay? <coughs> so we can find some scooter. Yeah. I'm William. It's only 10 o'clock. Porn mags! It's 11 for oh, me. Oh, it's pinks. I don't have work tomorrow, though. I do. I'm not sure how well I am. What do you mean? Well, Jen's been having this. She's she's come down with something. So, um, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, it's just a, it's just a cold basically. But it seems to be characterised by waking up in the morning feeling like absolute crap, and then throughout the day it just sort of wears off, and you think you're okay. Yeah, and then you wake and then up the next, the next morning. morning same it's sort of shit. Yeah. I've got the same shit. <laughs> So now I'm Where, like, um, I don't essentially wanna... it lasts. It essentially it lasts for about three days. When I was a kid, my mama used to call it a three-day throat sickness because you often woke up with a sore throat. Yeah. Um, and had a hard time swallowing stuff, and it essentially just lasts for about three days. Uh, sometimes it can last for about a week, but. Usually it's just, it's essentially just a head cold, but it sticks to your throat instead of yeah. your nose. Grim. So of course this morning I've had the head part of it. What was that? Yeah. I was standing next to something I shouldn't have been standing next to. Yeah. You're yeah. standing next to this one. What do you see me? I don't know where it is. It's everywhere. Pretty sure it's behind me. <laughs> There's rats! Rats everywhere! They're in my pants! What? I'm playing this game. I haven't played it for ages, actually. It's really cool. It's called um. Hold on, what's it called? Dungeon. I'm dead. Dungeon. It's called me, me, the dead. Dungeon. Dungeon master. Heck, it's cool. You shoot me while I, I pick you up. Oh. I don't need to be there anymore. Where's baddies? I can't see any. That's really Up annoying. In, in the air. Oh, there's one on the ground. I could hear it and I found it. It's over there. Frustratingly being oh. annoying. It's no longer in the ground. <laughs> on the ground. Oh. It's, uh... Anyway, it's a board game and you put together a, a dungeon crawler type adventure out of big cardboard. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I can't remember the name of it, but I know what you mean. You played it? No, I've really seen cool. you play it. Have you? Yeah. You're on my Steam. I see you pop up. No, a board game. Like real life. You're thinking of Dungeon Defenders. That's pretty oh, good. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't played that for ages. Actually. Never been. Never mind that one then. Um, but it's um, you play as miniatures and it's player versus game. Well, multiplayer versus game. Which is one of my favourite yeah. formats because it means you don't have to fall out with your friends. Um, but the one of the one of the sort of chance cards you can draw is um, a bunch of these little rats. A squirrel, squirrels spawn, and they latch onto your character. 
and crawl all around. <laughs> <laughs> so your character's trying to fight, but it's constantly being nibbled and attacked by squirrels, which I was reminded of I because I saw a gif recently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. 